truth, speak it boldly, never fear, speak it so that all may hear, in the end it shall appear, truth is best in age and youth, speak the truth. First, First I saw the white bear, then I saw the black, then I saw the camel with the hump upon his back, then I saw the gray wolf with the hump in his maw, then I saw the wombat waddled in the straw, then I saw the elephant awaiting on his trunk. Then I saw the monkeys mercy behind the bunch of the big stumps. The fuck you find my roll doll!
his pencil too, to make a pot of homework stew. I turn the flame up nice and hot, I toss my binder in the pot. I sprinkle them with the corn for the hot by the course. Despite the night, it's putrid, noxious gas. I proudly took my stew to class. Although the smell was so grotesque, I set it on my teacher's desk. My teacher said, you're quite a chef, but still you're going to get an F. I didn't ask for homework stew. I said, tomorrow, homework stew. A better place. By Catherine Paulson. How often do you put others first? Do you offer water when they thirst? Do you show a courtesy or are you too busy? Does it matter their status or do you consider everyone precious? Is money a factor that you can consider for you help and deliver? Whether we are rich or poor, who is to blame? Are we all not made from the same? We need to show kindness to all and make sure none will fall. Respecting others is what we should do. It would spread more happiness too. It doesn't matter the color of our skin or whether people are our kin. At the end of the day, even those who have played, we are all the same. No one is better than another, it's not in a name. Treat others how you want to be treated. If we all did this and we just repeated. You never know when your life will be changed and you will find everything rearranged. Don't look down on others who face troubles. Be there and encourage them if they're struggling. Respect is a thing you can freely give. Respect will make the world a better place to live. Hey, Bennington Heights friends and family. This is room 19. And we selected a poem about these guys going into grade seven and all of the fun stuff that they are going to encounter. So without further ado, here's room 19. The Teenage Years by Sarah Lowe. We learn from our mistakes, from the wrong turns we take, from the big friends we make, and from the times we almost break. Our mistakes help us grow, but at the time we didn't know, we didn't want our weakness to show, at the time we couldn't let them know. Our big friends were there, but they didn't actually care, our secrets they would share, and now as we pass, they get stare. No more if you mean you're strong, you know where you went wrong, as if you were Dear parents, guardians, and viewers, in room 15, we've been learning about the important contributions of African Canadians and Americans. We read the story of Viola Desmond, an African Canadian civil rights activist who was discriminated when wanting to sit in the front row of a theater in Nova Scotia. We also learned about John Ware, a former slave from the southern U.S. who became a famous cowboy and rancher in Alberta. Despite being treated poorly, he proved many of the other cowboys and ranchers wrong. He led a successful life in Millerville and Zoon Brooks. All of us researched and made a presentation about famous African Canadians and Americans, past and present, like Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, Muhammad Ali, Alfred Winfrey, Nelson Mandela, Michael Jordan, Rosa Parks, Barack Obama, just to name a few. For our literacy video, our class would like to show the ballad of Birmingham. This poem was written by poet Dudley Randall in 1963. It was based on a bombing of a church in Birmingham, Alabama, where Af African Americans were attending a service. 
I hope you enjoy this poem read by our grade 6 students. The Ballad of Bowman Town. Mother dear, may I go downtown instead of out to play? And march the streets of Birmingham and a freedom march today. Nobody know you may not go for the dogs are fierce and wild. And clubs and hoses, hoses guns and jails aren't good for a little child. But mother, I won't be alone. Other children will go with me. And march in the streets of Birmingham to make our country free. Baby, no, you may not go, for I fear those guns will fire. But you may go to the church instead and sing in the children's choir. She has combed and brushed her night dark hair and bathed those petals sweet. And drawn my gloves on her small brown hands and white shoes on her feet. Her mother smiles to know her child is in a sacred place. But that's not what the last pound can come upon her face. Her, when she heard the explosion, her eyes got wet and wild. She raced to the streets of Birmingham calling for her child. She walked through the of glass and bricks and lifted out.